Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for today's video. It's going to be a what's in my handbag video today and I'm going to be sharing with you what is inside my beautiful Mulberry Zipped Base water bag. I'm filming this video on my vlogging camera so sorry that we don't have a beautifully blurred out background um, but actually, I'm not going to lie, I quite like it. I don't have any lighting set up at the moment. I just popped my camera on a tripod and started filming so let me know what you think of um, the less professional setup down below hopefully you don't mind but I think it's really good for this video because I'm not so zoomed in and I can show you this in all its glory so this handbag I've had for a couple of weeks now and I've been using it as my everyday handbag it's just the most practical versatile fabulous bag in the whole world Mulberry is a brand in general that I absolutely adore I used to work at Mulberry a long time ago just as I was finishing my time at the London College of Fashion and also my first ever designer bag was a Mulberry Bayswater, very similar to this one but the five or six year old style. I always think they're so beautifully crafted and you get so much use out of them because the designs really are beautifully classic. So this particular handbag I really wanted an everyday bag, something that had a zip at the top, which this one does, so that when I'm commuting in London I don't need to worry about anyone sneakily putting their hand in my handbag, and something that was really really stylish but that would fit all of my essentials. When I go out and about I often have a big camera with me or at least a camera of types, my laptop with me, my charger, sometimes I have dog things with me like collars, harnesses, that kind of thing. So actually as much as I adore small handbags I really do need a big bag. I very often go out with a big bag and a smaller one if I'm doing photos and throughout the winter months I was wearing my Kate Spade Baby It's Cold Outside bag but that is quite a casual bag, it is more of a felt material so I did want something a little bit smarter that could be used as my everyday handbag. So that is where this baby comes in. The name of the leather colour I can't remember exactly, I want to say like blush or rose or something along those lines because it's not quite brown, it is a slight pinky tinge to it which is another reason why I absolutely adore it. Um, sorry the shape was looking a little bit strange there. You do have on the front this detail of the classic Mulberry Postman lock. You can open it and close it but it doesn't actually do anything so I normally just leave mine closed. And then you just have this big zipped section in the middle which I open up to reveal dun 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 all of my things inside. Now this is going to be a very real what's in my handbag. This is literally what I carry around on a day to day basis so I'm going to get started with the larger things and the first thing in here, I'm going to pop the bag down in front of me, the first thing in my handbag is this water bottle. You might have seen this in a blogger mail unboxing, this was sent to me by um, the PR for Neil's Yard Remedies and they are advertising the fact that you can fill up your refillable water bottle in their stores. This is from a brand that I cannot remember the name of, I'm really sorry, but I will link it down below because I did find them online. And it is a holistic hydration brand. So as you can probably see, there is a crystal in here. This is, I want to say an amethyst. I really want to learn a lot more about crystals. If you have any tips or any books or podcasts, then please leave them down below. But this, I think, is for calming or balancing your energy. So I really love that idea. I'm really open-minded to that kind of thing and secretly really love it. So I want to do some more research on that, but I think it's a really beautiful water bottle. It has this little cooler slash protector in there. And this is one that I have in my handbag for um, everyday slurping. The next large thing in my handbag is my laptop. I have got the MacBook, I think it's just called a MacBook, um, in pink, of course, or rose gold, whatever you want to call it. And then I've got a gold marble case. I just keep the front of it on. This is a really super affordable one from a company called Coconut Lane. This is a Charlotte Tilbury sticker which I got from a blogger mail and I just thought it was quite nice to put that on there. Um, the case, yeah, really affordable and they have a discount code that I will leave linked um, down below and on the screen and then I think that saves you like 15 or 20%. So yeah, that's a really lovely one. I get a lot of questions about my laptop case. The main reason why I wanted a bag this big was so that it would fit my laptop and a lot more bits and bobs in there as well well. This laptop obviously fits in there an absolute dream. There's still tons of room in the handbag, so great for those days when I'm out and about and working between meetings. 
Okie dokie, so um, the next thing I have is my phone. This was out and about, but I just slung it in here for the sake of the video. I've got the iPhone 7 Plus, and the only thing that's different about it is I have this pop socket on the back. I get so many questions about this, I can't believe how many people don't know what a pop socket is. Basically, for me, it's great because it means that I don't drop my phone. 7 Pluses or 8 Pluses are pretty big, um, so if you've got little hands like me, it just makes it a lot easier when it comes to text or typing, doing emails, because, yeah, you're not going to drop it if you're slotted into your pop socket. It also means that I can prop it up, it acts as a bit of a, a balancing nodule, so if I want to watch videos while I'm ironing or doing my makeup or whatever, don't know why ironing came first to mind, um, but yeah, it's really good for that, so that is my telephone. I have then got a couple, oh, okay, so I've got a notebook here, this is my, um, it's just a little Kate Spade notebook, really flimsy one, very good for just popping in the handbag, I'm a serial note taker at meetings, at press breakfast, things like that, I love taking notes, so in here I've got loads of to-do lists, I love writing to-do lists, edit Savoy vlog, edit gift guide, this is obviously pre-Christmas, blog posts to write, things to shoot in the Maldives, video ideas. Oh, and then I have this list here, sneaky sneaky peek. And this is kind of me using the secret slash organizing in my head. It's basically a list of fashion and beauty brands that I want to work with in 2018. So I've written a list of my favorite beauty brands and my favorite fashion brands, and I want to just kind of tick it off when I work with these brands. So for example, this year I really want to be a lot more strict with myself and only work with the brands that I absolutely, absolutely absolutely love. I always say no to collaborating with brands that I don't love, but this year I want to streamline my collaborations even more. So that's my little list, my checklist if you will. Um, yeah, more to-do lists, things to shoot, to-do lists, blah blah blah. So yeah, all of that good stuff is in my little Kate Spade notebook. And then this other thing, um, this is the Bed and Breakfast Little Green Book 2018. This, if you like to travel around the UK, is pretty much a bible. It lists all the best bed and breakfast. It's kind of like a directory of B&Bs. We went up to Lincoln to visit my family a couple of weekends ago and we found a B&B from this. It has a section on dog-friendly B&Bs. Um, so yeah, we've never had a bad B&B from this book, so that was in there as well. Next up we have my makeup bag, so I feel like this could be quite fun to go through. The bag itself is a YSL bag, it says YSL Beauté Love on there. Just a plain black bag, really good size, nice and lightweight to put in the handbag. It's quite full, we've got lots of ooh, bits and bobs in here. The first thing is the Dream Skin Perfect Skin Cushion Foundation from Dior. I love to have a cushion foundation with me, I think they're really good for topping up in the day. This one is my current favourite. I've taken out the sponge because I never use that. This one has a great mirror in the lid and then underneath you have got the foundation. As I said, it's really lightweight. It almost feels like skincare built into the foundation. I often find during the afternoon that my makeup has vanished from my chin, often my cheeks as well. So it's really great to be able to top that up with this. If I'm getting a little bit shiny, I will reach for these. This is my Fenty Beauty little um, handy roller which contains tissues that are like blotting paper. So, ugh. so you just rip out the amount that you need. It's often like here that I get a little bit oily and this just blots any oil away without adding loads of cakey makeup. So that's really handy. Then I have got a fragrance. This is the Miss Dior Rollable Pearl Fragrance. Amazing for keeping in the handbag, such a lovely size. It's the Blooming Bouquet Fragrance and as you can see, rollable, so just really easy when you're on the go to just add a touch of lovely fragrance. It's a really nice spring, fresh fragrance as well, so big fan of that one. I have another fragrance in here as well. This is a little mini Victor and Rolf flower bomb. I love that scent. Sometimes you just wanna dab a little bit here and there, so that's great. Okay, I have quite a few lip balmy products in here. I'm a huge fan of tinted lip balms. This is probably my longest standing favorite, and it is the Guerlain La Petite Robe Noir Lip Balm. It just gives a beautiful, delicate wash of subtle pink to the lips, and also really balmy. Another lip balm is the Dior Addict uh, lip Glow, the Colour Reviver Balm. This I've got in the coral shade, so depending what outfit I'm wearing or what shade I want on my lips, I'll reach for one of those two. I have three or possibly four 
Invisi bubbles in here. I like the rose gold ones, that's what I have the most of, and I find that they blend in the best with my hair colour, so I'm always, I have this really strange thing where I can't eat food, like a proper meal with my hair down, so I wouldn't be able to eat like this for example, I just, I actually find my hair really annoying, and when I'm not filming videos, I always have my hair tied back into a bun, so you'll 99% of the time see one of these on my wrists in photos, because chances are I had my hair in a bun two seconds prior to taking the photo, so always have loads of invisible bubbles with me. This is a mini foundation brush from Real Techniques. I think it's their buffing brush. It's called the Expert Face Brush. This is how I apply my cushion foundation, but sometimes I don't even use this for applying products. Sometimes I just blend my face with it. If I find I'm getting a bit of a line down there or my makeup is setting a bit in my under eye area, I'll just kind of buff the complexion with this and it is a little mini one, so perfect. For taking in your handbag. I've got a lip gloss in here too. This one I was wearing on Valentine's Day. I tend to throw in whatever lipstick I'm wearing that day into my makeup bag. I did have a clear out fairly recently because as you can imagine they do add up, but I often find my most recently used lip products in my handbag. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Lip Gloss in the shade Bay. And for someone that doesn't really like lip glosses, I absolutely love this one. It's not gloopy, your hair doesn't get stuck to it, doesn't feel really sticky on the lips, and it gives the most beautiful colour. I'm going to apply a little bit now. I find that the doe foot applicator also dispenses the perfect amount, so big fan of that one from Bare Minerals. I have another tinted lip balm in here. This is my By Terry. This is probably my favourite colour on the lips. It's called Nudissimo Hyaluronic Sheer Rouge. So this one actually has lots of extra ingredients in there, like hyaluronic acid, so it slightly plumps the lips and it also fills out any lines, as well as being a balm, so huge fan of that one from By Terry. And then we've got lots of little knickknacks down at the bottom. This is actually um, a Diamond Brilliance Polishing Cloth from De Beers. As you may know, my engagement ring is being resized at the moment. It's taking a long time because they're having to totally rebuild it because it was three sizes too big, but I still have a polishing cloth in my handbag. I have quite a lot of these in my bedside table. Um, nice to have one in case you get anything sticky on your ring or if it just needs a bit of a buff up, then that's amazing. So I have that in my bag. Back to makeup, I have the Guerlain Terracotta Jolie Tom Bronzer. This one I have in my handbag makeup bag because it's so thin. If I am doing my makeup or topping up my makeup during the day, then I love to apply a little bit more bronzer. I don't feel like myself without bronzer. And this is the bronzer that I love the most in the smallest packaging. So you've still got a mirror in the lid and then it also has a little bit of pink in there as well so it could be a very subtle blush colour too. And then the last few pieces I've got a very neutral Urban Decay eyeshadow. This is the Urban Decay Laced Eyeshadow. I don't often top my eyeshadow up when I'm on the go but it's in there anyway. I have a mini of the It Cosmetics Mascara, the Superhero Mascara, really handy size. I got this when I went to the Cotswolds with them um, and it's a fabulous mascara. Also from It Cosmetics a little mini of their CC cream, amazing product, seriously multitasking, so great for on the go. Ooh, a slightly bigger lipstick. This is the Shiseido Desert Quartz Rouge, Rouge Rouge, yeah, Rouge Rouge lipstick. This is another one that I've been wearing a lot recently, a really wearable pink shade. It looks gorgeous with a lip liner. One of my favourites, so that's another everyday lipstick. A Broken Anastasia Brow Wiz, Benefit Gimme Brow, um, LOC Love of Colour Lip Crayon. And then I also have this little capsule of the Bobbi Brown foundation. I just threw this in as I was testing it and thought it was a really nifty little size for keeping in my handbag. And then just a couple more invisible ones down at the bottom there. So these are all of the goodies that I keep in my handbag makeup bag. As I said, I do clear it out every now and then and try and streamline it. But aside from the lipsticks, most of that stuff just stays in there all the time. Okay, moving on. What else do we have in my bag? Um, the next thing that I can see still makeup related is my Cordelie Beauty Elixir. This is um, a special limited edition. It says same formula limited edition bottle. So it's a gold bottle. You can kind of see it a bit better there. This is the most fabulous thing to have in your handbag if you get to three or four o'clock in the afternoon and you just want a bit of a pick-me-up. If your complexion is starting to get a little bit dull or you just want something to refresh your complexion or you're about to redo your makeup, this is amazing. 
The smell is just instantly uplifting. It does amazing things to the complexion, really just brightens and gives you instant radiance, sets makeup, smells amazing, super refreshing. I honestly don't have a bad word to say about this. It's also 100% natural, so you're not putting a load of chemicals on your face. I have quite a few of these minis. This one probably has another week's worth left in it. And then I have a couple of big ones on my desk as well. So big fan of the Beauty Elixir. I've got a packet of Kleenex tissues in there. Definitely need to have these in your bag if you are a dog mama for various reasons. <laughs> Mostly actually because Dexter gets quite car sick, so um, yeah, good to have those in there just in case. I've got my little wallet. This is from an American brand, no, sorry, an Australian brand called The Daily Edited, and it's just a very cute little card folder. I used to have a big purse, and then I had a smaller purse, and now I just really use this because I do swap to smaller handbags in the evenings or if I'm just dashing out, so all of my essentials go in here. Nothing too exciting to show you, just various credit cards driving license and a few loyalty cards. <laughs> I've got two different loyalty cards for Farm Girl. I think I'm two, I'm two stamps away from getting a free coffee and then I actually have two on the other one so maybe I can trade that in for a coffee. Some receipts, this is a receipt actually for our Valentine's Day dinner at Cafe Monaco. I got the dinner, Charlie got the theater tickets and nothing else very exciting in there. I'm gonna go quite quickly through these last few pieces. You know how everyone just has random bits at the bottom of their handbag, so I'm gonna go through them quite quickly. This is a dry shampoo, mostly for the occasions when I go to the gym and then straight out to meetings. It's 100% vegan, it's a brand called Maria Nilla. I wouldn't say it's as good as um, Batiste when it comes to actually making your hair look super fresh, and if you like that powdery feel, you don't really get that from this, but it does freshen up the hair and make you more acceptable after a workout so that's in there good little handbag size then i have got in its own little sheath my pen rose gold pen with glitter in the top a really really cute one for taking notes at meetings things like that next is my handbag hairbrush this is a little fold-up hairbrush from the wet brush although the wet brush is rubbing off at the moment this is pretty much a full-size hairbrush but a collapsible version great for detangling great for not making your hair frizzy so very important when you're on the go then we've got my little charging block this is a pearl charger really cute little battery pack at the moment i have got four bars so it's full ready to go what is adorable about this is that it's actually a mirror as well you can turn on a light but a really good way of having a mirror always in your handbag because it's part of your battery set i should also have a little cable i think i got this from primark this is a really good cable because it goes into the usb of your charger um, and then this top bit is an iPhone here and then, you know, is that called like a Thunderbolt or an Android charger? Which basically means that I can charge this and charge my iPhone from the same cable, so that's really handy. Other bits and bobs, we have got uh, my sunglasses. I have a feeling... Oh, <laughs> it's empty because I had my sunglasses on my head this morning to go to the gym. But I usually have my leopard print Kate Spade sunglasses in here. I have got my Willida Skin Food. This I use as a hand cream, but it has so many other uses as well. It's an amazing hand cream, really luxurious, but it doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't take ages to sink in. But also, if you want to use it as a cuticle balm, or if you've got any cuts or any sunburn, it has so many different uses. It's very natural as well, so you're not putting loads of chemicals on your skin which is very very important generally just an amazing product and I know so many people are obsessed with that for good reason another lip product this is the Guerlain La Petite Robe Noir lip color ink in the shade I think it's shade 111 this I think is in my handbag from when we shot my romantic lookbook. I used this as part of the intro for that. Got my house keys, nothing very exciting to report on here. Um, this keychain is a L'Occitane, I think it's L'Occitane for, oh no, Estee Lauder for breast cancer keychain. It's got a few cute little charms on there. This I think I got with my breast cancer advanced night repair lotion. So that's all that's on there. Oh, actually, and then this one is a Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream keychain and this I keep on there because I got this from my very first blogger event it was the Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream pop-up in Covent Garden it was the first event I ever went to I was so thrilled to have got a free keychain at the event so um, that kind of just stays on my keys for good memories last couple of bits now um, I actually have the sponge from my Dior compact after telling you that I don't use it but there it is in the bottom of my handbag I have got 
an ASOS visitor pass. So I went for dinner with ASOS last week and to go into their offices to visit their showroom, I had to sign in. So that's my visitor pass. I have rather a lot of tablets in the bottom of here as well. If you need a doctor, come to me. I've got uh, some Lemsip day and night flu relief capsules. I have ibuprofen and Neurofen. <laughs> then I have got some earphones. These are, they look like EasyJet earphones in the bright orange, but they're actually Hugo Boss. They were in a goodie bag that Charlie had from a Hugo Boss event, so I've pinched those. Then stuck together, <laughs> this is a Garnier Micellar Water Sachet. I tend to pull out sachets from magazines. I find them really handy for putting in my gym bag. Um, so yeah, I have a little sachet. Who knew there were sachets of micellar water so random but it's a great product this is probably my favorite mirror i don't know why i need three mirrors in my handbag but it's a big round mirror really great for checking everything your makeup your hair your outfit whatever because it's so big and this is paul and joe from asos i'll leave this link down below because it's such a practical thing to have and then also the way that it opens it does stand up on a flat surface as well so if you want to do your makeup or when you're traveling if you want to can even do your hair with this because it is quite a zoomed out mirror very very handy another invisibobble a hair clip i often just like clip back the front section of my hair again if i'm eating or working i've got some extra spearmint chewing gum i very rarely chew gum often when i find it in the bottom of my handbag it's out of date and very gross um I thought this was a Starburst, but this is actually a Frutella raspberry flavor. And then some mints in a tin. So that is the main body of my handbag, absolutely empty. But the last couple of bits I've got are in the envelope pocket. So there's no zippy pockets in here, just little slip envelope pockets. And then in there, I have another pen. I think this is also from Coconut Lane, uh, the same kind of marble effect. And then you've got the glitter at the top there. I have a Marc Jacobs lipstick. This is Screen Test, a nude lipstick. Once again, another one that I've been wearing as like an everyday lipstick recently. So that's in there. I'm really surprised that there aren't any um, lip liners in here because I often throw in my daily lipstick and lip liner. Then I've got this very useful device here. If you have the same laptop as me, you'll know that it only has a slot for the charger and an earphone slot. So this means that I do have slots for my memory cards and my USBs. So really, really handy. I have one of these on my desk, one at my bedside table, one in my handbag, an absolute essential if you have that laptop. And finally, dun dun dun, we have got the Mulberry, oh, so now I can tell you the name of this colour, it is Dark Blush. This is just the little quality guarantee thing. Zipped Bayes Water Small Classic Grain in Dark Blush, J111. And one more pen, I think this is a Swarovski pen. I tend to just chuck pens in the bottom of my handbag. This one is really, really beautiful. It's uh, white with rose gold clip, and then you've got the Swarovski crystals around here. And if you can see that, there is also a Swarovski crystal in the lid there too. So that is everything that I have in my Mulberry handbag, my everyday bag. I don't think there's anything too surprising or weird in there. I'm trying to be quite good at not just chucking loads of random stuff in my handbags. And with old handbags, I would always find that there'd be crumbs and just really random stuff at the bottom. But this one, no crumbs, no random bits and bobs at the bottom. I'm really trying to take care of this beautiful, beautiful handbag. The bag itself, when it's empty, is also really lightweight, which is something that's very important to me. I do carry a lot in my bags, as you've seen, so the handbag itself just cannot be heavy, otherwise I will not be able to manage it. And this is super, super lightweight. Overall, I just absolutely adore this handbag. It's so perfect for all of my needs. It looks beautiful and I just adore it so, so, so much. So I really hope you guys enjoyed looking through uh, what's in my handbag and a kind of mini review, I guess, of the Mulberry Zipped Base Water. Let me know what you think to this bag as well. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And also, if you've got anything surprising in your handbag, have a little rummage and let me know if you've got anything weird and wonderful in there. So that is all from me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.